Welcome Leo to your Oracle of Love reading for singles. If you'd like a more customized Oracle of Love reading, I do private ones and you can contact me on my email which is listed below this video and we can take it from there. Otherwise, uh, stay tuned Leo and we'll see who's coming in for you. Okay, we have the chariot. This person is very successful and is very ambitious. It could be the, under the sign of a cancer. This person is very acknowledged in their field for what they do for work and you would certainly notice them. They will stick out like a sore thumb. They could be in a very high position. They could even be famous and you might notice them um, or that's how you might notice them. Okay. Now, this could be you, Leo. You could also be meeting a fellow Leo. I feel like this person has a lot of strength and character. They're very driven. They're very ambitious. This person is quite a tough, um, a tough cookie to crack. I feel as though uh, they're very driven. They're very forward thinking. They know what they want out of life here with the strength card. Um, and strength has gotten them to where they are, whether it's mental strength, physical strength. They may own a gym. They may be really big on physical fitness. Um, or they may do classes of some sort. Okay, Knight of Cups here. I feel like this person could be under a water sign, so Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or a Leo. I feel like this person has gone through tough times in life. I feel like this person acts on emotion at times. I feel this person can provide you with a lot of emotional growth, and I feel like they'll need a lot of they they'll need an emotional connection to fully connect with you. Okay, King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius here. I feel like, again, this person is very direct in what they say. They've got the gift of a gab, so they're a very good communicator. They could communicate for work, and that is why they're elevated to such a high position here. Also, with the King of Swords, I feel this person uh, will communicate with you a, f uh, a fair bit. They'll either reach out to you or you'll reach out to them, and there'll be a lot of communication back and forth. And this person will open up and tell you how they feel about you and what sort of relationship um, they want. They'll be extremely direct here. Okay, Page of Cups again. This could be the, a water sign that's coming through. Could be a Pisces here. Again, a, a lot of emotion with this person. Maybe there's a bit of fickleness to them. They may be back and forth about what it is, but they want. But ultimately, you know, they may be, um, they may have been hurt in the past. But I feel like they'll act on emotion and they'll say they'll say what they mean. So if you if you feel you don't believe them, I feel they're very authentic in that sense, and they're they're telling you from their emotions, and there will be this there will be direct. Okay, the death card. It could be a Scorpio, or this person might have had a death around them sometime recently. I feel like this person is transforming their life as well with the death card. Maybe they've relocated. Maybe they've com completely revamped their life. Maybe they're not who they once were, you know, a few years ago. Again, they could have had loss around them. Could have been an ex-partner. It could have been a mother, father, brother, sister, friend. Um, there's loss around them or there will be loss um, around them. Okay, we have the Five of Swords. Again, loss, defeat. Someone might have left them in their previous relationship. Someone walked away from them or they walked away from um, them. But this is defeat, loss. Maybe it's in a job. Maybe they've lost a job and they've completely transformed their life. You'll definitely hear of some sort of loss around them, though. Something that made them stronger, I feel made them stronger in the long run. Okay, the Emperor. This is an Aries. Um, a very dominant figure. I feel like they're quite authoritative. They may be in that sort of role for work, but I definitely feel like they command a lot of attention. As soon as they walk into the room, a lot of people start to notice them, and maybe that's how you'll first notice them. Something about their demeanor, their mannerisms will certainly... Um, appeal to you. They could have a very protective uh, feeling about them. They could be overly protective about you and about your love, your relationship, etc. The world, they might um, travel or they might you might meet them over in travels. I feel like they've traveled for work or traveled to see the world. 
I feel like they're quite, they could be quite affluent. Okay, the hanged man. This is someone that was previously in limbo. Um, someone who's very creative, innovative, very thoughtful. Um, a lot of ingenuity from this person. I feel like they were at a stage in their life, or they might be at a stage in their life, or they might tell you about this stage of their life where they were this person and they were sort of, their world was turned upside down and it could have to do with this death card and the five of swords could be this loss that they'll tell you about okay knight of pentacles it could be an earth sign here um i'm seeing more water and earth but knight of wands is all about this person could be very established they could have a lot of money um they could deal with a lot of money in their work they could be in the public eye certainly they could travel a lot for work they, they could have businesses, international businesses. Uh, King of Pentacles. They're going to make you an offer of some sort. Whether they might buy you a house, buy you a gift, or want to conjoin finances. They'll do something for you in your physical realm. Okay, Page of Wands. This is a message of love. This is fire. I feel like there's a lot of passion with this person. If they're not a fire sign, then they have fire in their chart. Or there's a lot of lust, um, sexuality. They might even have an, uh, you know, an anger problem, wrath. You know, they could be spiteful with their words sometimes. But I definitely feel like with the Page of Wands, they're going to communicate to you. I feel they might reach out to you first and express to you exactly how they feel. We saw that with the King of Swords and the Page of Wands, I feel this person will be very direct about how it is they feel about you in every aspect. Okay, Rebirth. So we saw the Death card and now we have Rebirth. There was a big shift that took place in their lives. This could have been fairly recently. The dates that resonate with the Priestess of Rebirth are November 25th to December 23rd. They want a rebirth or they've undergone a rebirth in how they think about love, how they what they do for work, how they act, what their, pos their outlook on life, whether they're positive or negative. There's definitely a big transformation around them here. Abundance. Okay, so there could be, again, with the Eye of Horus, very protective over you, very protective over your love or protective over themselves. Um, I feel they're quite abundant in a lot of areas in their life. They could be very affluent. Again, very established here with the King of, with the Knight of Pentacles, sorry. They could have a connection to Egyptology. They could be Middle Eastern or from Egypt. Or be fascinated with that sort of history or traveled to pre uh, to Egypt previously. Strength. Okay, so we have strength here. Um, June 10th to July 7th. Okay, so again, they're very strong in character. Um, they're almost, they'll almost be like your rock. I feel like this person doesn't give up easy. They're very resilient. There's a lot of strength. Again, they could be really big on physical fitness. Um, have faith. This person could have a strong religious um, faith that they believe in or spirituality, but I feel you need faith in this relationship and your world and your dream relationship can be manifested. But someone's going to have a lot of faith and it could be this person. Prosperity. Okay, so again, a lot of money, opportunities, wealth and affluence around this person. Okay, luxury again, September 2nd to September 29th. This person enjoys the finer things in life. They could take you on a luxury date. We saw with the Knight of Pentacles and the luxury card. Definitely to schmooze and woo you. Okay, two of wands. They're thinking about traveling or they're torn between two locations on where to travel or they're back and forth between two locations. You might meet them on travels as well here. Three of pentacles. You might meet at a church, at a function, at um, at a market, at a conference, at a convention. I feel like this person might attend conventions to sell a product they may uh, look for the corporation they work for or a product they themselves may have developed. But going places. This person isn't a homebody. They like to go out. They like to travel. They like to see things. Queen of Swords, air energy again. Could be a Gemini or Gemini in their chart. Very direct. We have the King and the Queen of Swords in this spread. So very direct. Really good communicators. A lot of charisma here. A lot of direction in their life, especially with this major transformation they may have had. Nine of Wands. Okay, they're going to be defensive. Um, they might be defensive or they previously have been hurt for letting you into their lives. King of Wands, okay, they can't sit still. As I said, they're not a homebody. They like to be out and about. 
and the six of cups. So they really want children or they might already have children or young siblings or they might live, you know, where they were raised and they had a really pleasant childhood is what I'm picking up here with the three with the six of cups. Absolutely beautiful to see. There's a childlike innocence to them or they can be a child at times, whether it's immaturity or youthfulness. I guess we'll have to wait and see. But thank you so much for joining me. I hope this has been insightful for you and I look forward to speaking to you again very soon. Thank you.